One minute late. You're lucky to have me at all, Captain Peacock. I had to throw me pussy out before I came. <laughs> Mrs Slocum, Mr Rumbold would like to know why you're late. Well, the central heating broke down. I had to light the oven and hold my pussy in front of it. <laughs> well, if I'm to spend an evening in this club, there'll have to be accommodation for my pussy. <laughs> Mr Humphreys, leave my pussy alone. <laughs> home on the stroke of six my pussy goes mad <laughs> if i'm not home on the stroke of seven my pussy starts clawing at my business <laughs> oh mr rumbold i hope this isn't going to take long my pussy's been locked up for eight hours <laughs> but they're all dogs is there no demand for mechanical pussies <laughs> I'm told that people prefer the real thing. The last time I was late, a fireman had to climb out of my bedroom window and risk his life on a narrow ledge trying to grab hold of my pussy. <laughs> Look, it's a diamante collar for me pussy. <laughs> Mrs. Slocum, there is a strict rule that staff may not bring pets to the store. Well, you know how clumsy those removal men are. I'm not having a mantle in my pussy. <laughs> Hello, is that Mr. Ekbar? Mrs. Slocum here, your next door neighbour. I wonder, um, would you do me a favour? Would you go to my front door, bend down and look through the letterbox? And if you can see my pussy, <laughs> would you drop a sardine on the mat? 